Perhaps the single most nebulous query in all of contemporary gaming is the question of what truly comprises an RPG. Is it multifarious narrative forks, the arresting emotionality of a maudlin cutscene? Maybe it's the dateless duo of dice rolls and Red Bull. Fuck, maybe she's born with it. But as genres continue to blend like vinaigrette in Michael J. Fox's mouth, and shooters and RPGs pass each other in the night as they move in opposing directions on the role-playing flowchart, it's time to banish the buzzwords, dust off the D20, and do what no game designer has seemed willing or capable of doing for the last decade and a half at least. Actually fucking define some shit. Webster's defines role-playing as- Ah, ah, had you there, didn't I? I won't be quite that hacky until I hit the 100,000 subs mark. Then it's strictly green screens, jump cuts, and semen cake ponsador haircuts, as far as the eye can see. I came by my long-term love affair with the role-playing genre as a saucer-eyed little shit stain at the retiring age of 10 when I stumbled on the sensational SNES craft of Breath of Fire. Now, as I explained in my retrospective of that series, I was hooked from the first thunderclap. Blue-haired bitches with snake tails, metalhead-looking fucks turning into dragons. It was like 16-bit smack coursing through my adolescent veins. I say this not as a tiresome recitation of a story you already know, but to establish the fact that I am in no way married to the tabletop role-playing experience. I love me some Vampire the Masquerade, I bone down with Battletech, as you all know, but lay the character sheets and disco ball die out, and I wouldn't know Dungeons and Dragons from Hall and Oates. But to fail to acknowledge the classic D&D experience as the formative foundation against which all future endeavors that deign to describe themselves as role-playing must be measured, and you're probably going to wind up with an industry that looks a fuck of a lot like the one we have now. Celebrated, successful, bordering at times on Cyclopean, but more confused than Daredevil at a dubstep concert. How confused, you ask? I can say without the merest hint of irony or hyperbole that one of the most in-depth role-playing simulations I have played this year was a fucking baseball game! From its customizable player characters to its freeform season and a surfeit of upgradable attributes and skills, MLB The Show makes Bethesda its bitch! The Witcher 3 won Game of the Century last year and it doesn't have any of that shit! And more is the pity as far as I'm concerned. In much the same way that the video game industry has its asshole primed and puckered for a half-inch Hollywood dicking in lieu of, oh, I don't know, actually making a game, the modern role-playing game seems obsequiescent to the face of the FPS and adventure genres, cowed into passivity, rendered almost sycophantic in its desire to measure up to the big boys. You see it during the E3 preamble every year. Oh, Mass Effect Andromeda isn't an RPG. It's a third-person immersive narrative driven cosmic action adventure experience. Well, that's swell, Troy McClure. Hey, when I pinch out a turd in your mouth in five seconds, don't call it a shit. It's an emergent, richly textured, non-Euclidean scent cylinder with an E. coli chaser, you fucking asshole. In short, there's nothing an RPG wants to be less these days than an RPG. And I would argue it should be the exact other way around. From the PS1 with Final Fantasy VII, to the Xbox 360 with Oblivion, to the PS4 with... Hey, Oblivion was great! Look, the point is, RPGs can be system sellers, too. Look, you don't have to sever all the streamlining, but crack open those D&D or Shadowrun books again sometimes. See if among all the anachronisms and desultory dice rolls, there might be something actually worth plundering there. When the Looking Glass team were pondering what gameplay might look like in a game about a thief, someone tore open a copy of the Tabletop Thieves Guild campaign, and there it was! Pickpocketing, lockpicking, fences, shadowing couriers, all the hallmarks of stealth gameplay that the genre has been shamelessly shitposting in every game with a fucking sneaking mechanic ever since. And all because some geek had a GURPS fixation. Look, the point is, far from sucking hind tit commercially, RPGs have, on countless occasions, taken fledgling consoles from the red squarely into the mandingo black. And while formerly sterling system sellers like Halo and Call of Duty continue their commissary collapse on an annual basis, what are the hardest of the hardcore still playing a year later? Bloodborne, Skyrim, Fallout, Barbie Island Prince... <clears throat> Look, RPGs rule, so fucking be one already! I'm Razorfist. God fucking speed! <laughs>